In this video tutorial, you will learn how to invert colors in Adobe Illustrator for both vector objects and rasterized images. But first make sure you understand the difference between a vector object and a raster image. How you can check if the vector or image is editable vector or not. Vector graphics are drawings made from a series of connected dots. If you create your design using these tools in Adobe Illustrator, then your design is editable. When you select the vector object in Illustrator, you will be able to see path and anchor points. Resolution is not an issue with vector images. They do not lose their quality when resized, so they can be scaled to infinity. If you use a raster image when you select it, you will not see any path or anchor points. Only the bounding box around the image will appear. Raster files are composed of pixel-like images, therefore when you zoom into a rasterized image, you see individual pixels. So you can tell if the image is vector or raster by increasing the size. If the image becomes pixelated when zooming in, it is a raster image. Now if the vector is editable and you want to invert the color of the whole vector graphic, select the object using the selection tool located in the left side toolbar. If the object is grouped, right click on the object and from the right click drop down menu select ungroup. Using the direct selection tool select the part you want to invert the color. Now the quick way is simply select the object and go to edit menu, edit colors and invert colors. As you can see we can select a specific part of the vector object and change the color from the color panel. Go to the color panel located on the right side toolbar. If you can't find it here, go to the window menu and select color. From the color panel, open the hidden menu by clicking on this hamburger icon and select invert. The benefit of using this color panel is you can also adjust the color slider to change it to any other color you want. For example, let's invert the color of these back to the original. Further ungroup the object if these are grouped and select the part. Click on this hidden menu and select invert. If you don't want to invert the color back to the original, you can adjust the color slider to change it to other colors you want. Unlike vector images, the color of a rasterized image can only be inverted in one way. However, before you invert the color, ensure that the rasterized image is embedded and not linked. If you want to invert the color of a rasterized image, you need to embed it first. The quick way to embed an image is through the quick action panel. Select the image you want to embed, go to the quick action panel in the right toolbar and select embed. After embedding the image, now we can proceed to invert the color. Grab the selection tool from the left side toolbar and select the embedded image. Once the image is selected, go to this edit menu. From the drop down menu, select edit colors and choose invert from the extended menu. Now you can see that we have successfully inverted the color of this raster image. But in this image, there is a background. Why is that? Because it inverted the background from the rasterized image as well. When inverting the color of a rasterized image, the entire image including the background will be changed. Now if you ever want to revert it back to its original state, again go to overhead toolbar and open the edit menu. From the drop down menu, select edit colors and choose invert from the standard menu. Actually, it works the same way for real images. It inverts the whole image including the background. For example, if I place this image into my document and this is how it looks after I select invert colors. So the conclusion is you can invert the color of both vector and raster images using the edit menu. The only difference is if you have a vector object, you can easily edit the color later. And you have the flexibility to invert part of the image instead of the whole image. So I hope this video has helped you to learn how to invert colors of an image in Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos like this. That's all in our part 53 of Adobe Illustrator Zero to Hero complete course and I hope you all have enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to master in Adobe Illustrator. By the way, if you have not seen our earlier videos, please take a look. This course is especially designed for those who are brand new to Adobe Illustrator. It covers everything in full detail. Link is given in the description and first comment. That's all for today. See you in part 54.